remember your dad was he always sad no he was always really happy and jovial person people loved him he had this big booming voice i remember you know we'd be uh, at hockey you know you could hear him from everywhere pass it out to russ pass it out to russ nice. he was a great father and uh, a great coach you know we all were given a chance to succeed in life not only in sport but he taught us a lot from a young age i remember I think there's a picture of all four of us sitting on his lap, and that was his happy place. Probably from when I was 14, started to show signs of it. Um, he uh, basically would stay up all night. He got into the black tunnel, and you know, you could sit there and talk to him on the couch at night, and it was like you weren't there. It was like you were talking to somebody that couldn't quite listen. The toughest part was definitely trying to help him and not being able to. And I think at that time, you know, he didn't want to go on medication. He didn't want to go see the doctors. He was ashamed of feeling the way he felt. Hey, Jeff, over here. Russ, pass it. The impact of suicide is like a neutron bomb. It just goes on and on. I mean, the carnage is, um, you've got a mother of four, uh, you know, literally no life insurance, so to speak, and she had to go back to work. And, you know, I was 10 years old and we had our mom at home all the time for all those years. And then all of a sudden that's gone. So I always say that uh, when I'm speaking that, you know, I, I not only did I lose my father, but I lost my mom too. Seeing it printed in the paper, what did the truth do? When Jeff came out with it, I remember Russ and I both going, oh, we, you know, we didn't know what to say because we'd been keeping it the secret all of our, for those years. In that moment, I just felt like, you know what, I'm tired of not, people not knowing how he died. But it was a sense of relief, you know, where you felt like, okay, now we can really deal with this now and, and help others. I couldn't believe how much the community rallied, how many people had similar stories, how many people had been living with what we'd been living with, people we didn't know, people we knew, um, sad stories, happy stories. Um, I, and I thought, I think it just, it really created momentum for not just our community, but I think across Canada for everyone to start talking about it because you aren't alone. It must have been so wonderful to see your dad's name up on that building, you know, almost in lights, Archie Courtnell. Yeah, it was the first time when they put the sign up, I drove by my car and I think I started to cry because, you know, it just felt good to remember him in that way, that his name's there. It's been very good for us dealing with our, our own issues that, uh, that we've grown up with. I mean, it's been a, a wonderful time for us to, uh, to help others and something that was instilled in us by our father and we're just carrying on that torch. <laughs>